Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at how to add new logins to your Dialog account. There is no additional charge for having more logins on your account, and you can have as many as you want. I'll also show you how to delete logins from your account. So let's get started. In order to add or delete Dialog users, you need to be what's called a My Research Administrator, or we say Myra. If you're not sure whether you have Myra privileges, just log into Dialog the same as you would to do a search, go to your username in the top menu, and look in the drop down menu for Administration. If you don't see Administration, then you do not have Myra privileges. If you think you should be an administrator for these purposes, or if your company wants to add a new administrator, just contact us at the help desk and we can assist. To add a new user, you simply click on Administration, which takes you to the My Research Administration screen. Here, you would click on Create a Single User Account to get this blue pop-up form and fill in the information for the new user. Pick a username for them. Here, I'll try J. Smith, but it can be any kind of word or any letters and numbers that you want. Enter a password for the new user and type it again in the next box. You'll want to make it a secure password, but I'll also show you how the person can change the password later if they want to. The username, by the way, is not case sensitive, but the password is. Enter their first name, their last name, and their email address. If you check this box, the new user will very quickly receive an email with their login credentials. You might tell them to expect this email, but by checking this box, you won't have to provide them login information yourself. This last line says workgroup default, and I'll just leave that alone. We'll talk about workgroups in a later video, and the default just means that everyone has full use of all databases. Click Create Account, and basically you're done. Now, in this case, I got a message telling me that the username J. Smith is taken, meaning that it's already being used by some other Dialog customer. So I'll have to try a different name. I might just add some numbers to it, like this. Or maybe use a variation on the name, like this. And this time, it goes through. The new login has been created, and the new Dialog user will very quickly receive an email like this one, which gives them their username and password, along with some other information, including a link to the login page. Once they've logged in, if they want a different password, they can go to their username in the top menu, and from the dropdown, click Preferences. And then on the right side of the Preferences screen is a link for account information. And they can change their password there. If you want to add another user, just click this link again, fill in these few boxes, and create new account. It's very quick and easy. Now, sometimes you'll want to delete a user login. If you want to delete one of them, just go to the right side of the row with their username and click Delete. Or to delete multiple logins, you can check the boxes on the left side for each one you want to remove, and then go up here and click Delete. So that's it. If you prefer to have the help desk handle these kinds of account changes for you, just ask us and we're glad to do that for you. But honestly, it is so simple that you may find it's quicker and easier for you to just add and delete users yourself whenever you want to, here on the My Research Administration screen. Once again, here is the contact information for our help desk, along with some links to additional information. Thanks for using Dialog, and enjoy the rest of your day.